Stockholm I would say let's go or in Bern I would say let's go for a little ride. But here to, to the other side of <laughs> town. Let's go one round around Tehran. Sunaya yes sadada sadaya bashkura Daya sam ye hastado shasayam bakura Suya dar ye dar ye da sadoriya mashkuri Suya da ye de ya de ya sa Garden of Silence began with a strong dream. I heard just some incredible sounding music. And to come closer to this vision of sound, we started to write for a larger, some kind of string ensemble. This project, Garden of Silence, is like a musical mirror of our lives. With my Persian roots, I grew up between Western and Oriental traditions, and I'm living now in Switzerland. It was a big enrichment to meet Björn with his Scandinavian background. By composing and playing together over a long time, we could create a unique and musical language together. The starting point of this project was our more than 10 year old band Basar. In addition, we wanted to have the sound of a specific string section. For me, it was clear that my favorite Swedish folk music instrument, the Nykelhaupa, had to be part of it. We also wanted to have the sound of a very special Iranian instrument, the Kamanche. And to fill out the lower range, we had the cello. It's actually the first time that these specific instruments come together. So First of all, we knew which kind of sound we wanted to create. But beside that, also the people behind the instruments were an important aspect. Like Reza, for example, is an old friend of ours and his way of playing duduk fits perfectly in our garden. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's nice for the two of you together. Each of the musicians bring their own traditions and ways of interpreting the compositions. And it's very fascinating for us to bring such great musicians and their cultures together.
Very quickly we forgot all about cultural differences or backgrounds. And it even happened once that I started speaking Swedish with the Iranian musicians and everybody just looked at me with big eyes, a big confusion. A project like this has many challenges. For example, bring people together from Sweden, from Switzerland and Iran for rehearsals and concerts. My instrument is another challenge. Flying with a piccolo flute would be much easier, but definitely less effectful. The great experience of our concerts in Iran was the warm-hearted reaction of the audience. Actually, the harp is an ancient Persian instrument, but it has been lost over the centuries. To bring back the harp to Iran left a deep impact, also on me. Thank you.